Hey, it's Cosmo Solutions 8, and uh, today I want to talk to you about what you do if you make a mistake in Google Ads, which I've never done, of course. I'm joking, obviously. Most of my career has been nothing but epic mistake making. That's why I'm such a good digital marketer, because marketing is failing forward, and I've gotten really comfortable with failure. Um, enough self-deprecation, let's dive into it. So, Google has uh, this really cool feature that allows you to exclude data. So we're going to go up to tools here in tools, and then in uh, shared library, we're going to go down to bid strategies. And uh, in bid strategies, you're going to say advanced controls, and then we're going to say new data exclusion. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to define a date range within which you tell Google, don't look at this data. And this is so important. If you make a mistake, let's say your conversion tracking isn't set up properly, and you find out, you know, whatever, a day, a week, a month later, that you're like, oh my goodness, I've had false positives reported this entire time. That's actually a catastrophic error for you because Google's gonna try to re-deliver more and more of those conversion actions on your behalf. So what I'm gonna teach you how to do is exclude that data so that you can have a healthy campaign without necessarily having to reset and rebuild. Um, so in here, you're gonna name your data exclusion. Let's just say that it's uh, exclude mobile conversions. Um, my mobile conversions, for whatever reason, weren't reporting properly. I just made that up. I have a description here that's really clear, especially if you have more people that are working inside of your, um, in your Google Ads account. We're going to choose our start date. Uh, what's so important here, and they actually offer you a little snippet, is that you have to make sure if you have a long conversion window, if you have you know massive d delay or, or whatever, um, account for that in uh, the, the date that you're assigning. So I'm just gonna say all of January to make this really easy. Uh, and then down here we get to say the campaign types. What are we excluding? All campaigns, search, display, shopping. You'll notice that video and app campaigns aren't available. Um, or if you want to, you can actually choose specific campaigns. So you can select specific campaigns and cherry pick which ones you don't, you don't want to include. I'm just going to say all campaign types. And then we get to decide device types. Um, given the fact that you know, some of the data exclusions are probably in some instances going to be device specific. So because this is a mobile conversion uh, data issue, I'm going to say exclude my mobile devices only. Um, but if you said, hey, it's actually site wide, we're going to put it on everything, that's fine. And then you click save. Now, a couple of really important notes, and I'm going to include this document in the description of this video. Uh, one, again, make sure to include date ranges that account for your t typical conversion delay. Um, that's going to be really important. And then two, um, you're still going to see these conversions. So you'll have the conversion data inside of your account, but you're not necessarily, um, it's an important thing to understand because you're not like wiping that clean from your account. You're just, you're just telling smart bidding, please don't pay attention to this, uh, which I think is an important uh, distinction. Um, and that's it. I hope this is helpful. Mistakes happen all the time. It's so multifaceted. And there's so many things going on and you know, a web developer changes something, new thank you page gets updated, whatever. WordPress makes an update and all of a sudden you realize, gosh, tracking was broken. This is so important to do. So if you ever see a mistake, especially if you're using smart bidding, if you see a mistake that's more specifically throwing false positives, because losing tracking sucks. Um, and you should still do this. But, but where I think this is most helpful is if you've ever thrown a false positive, uh, meaning you're telling Google that a conversion is happening when it's not happening, that's data that you want to you want to remove um, from Google's sphere of view because otherwise it's going to try to replicate those events and you don't want that at all. So I hope this is helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, all this stuff. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you tomorrow.